Welcome everyone, this is Dina from Mark's Group Live, happy to be reviewing with you today how to work with expenses in Zoho Books. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping your fellow Zoho users out, as well as helping us to improve the video library. Here are some of the key takeaways we're going to talk about today. First, you can record standard expenses, mileage, or recurring expenses in Zoho. Once an expense is created, you can link it to a customer and send them an invoice. And finally, you can create custom views to filter the expenses you review. Now let's go into Zoho Books and go over how to manage expenses. So from the dashboard, you, have, um, you need to go to Purchases and then you have expenses or recurring expenses as options. The plus sign here next to expenses means you can create an expense straight from here. The other option to create an expense is to go up to the top to the blue um, circle with the plus sign and you can create um, an expense from there. But let's go in first and just look at the expenses that we have. And as you can see we have a number of different expenses here. They have different columns and then uh, different statuses. So you can see we have unbilled or invoiced statements, uh, uh, expenses. And you have the all, all expenses here and you have a drop down arrow next to that. And then you have, you either have a favorite view that you already wanna see. You can look at all um, expenses, those that are unbilled, invoiced, reimbursed, billable, non-billable, with receipts, without ex receipts, et cetera. And you can go in and you can um, create a, a new view. Uh, so I'm going to call this March expen Expenses. I can mark it as a favorite and then I can define the criteria when um, and I can do expense date is um, after and just to be safe I'm going to say after February 28th and then I can add another criteria and just to make sure we get the March ones is before and we can put before April 1st. And then if I wanted to add other columns, I can do that as well. Uh, I can just click on a click on um, a column and use the plus sign, add it in there, and then I can take it away by hitting the negative sign. And then you can decide if you only share this with you or if you move this view down for other viewers to see. For now, I'll just save it as this. It's created successfully. Now we had one March expense that's in here now. But we can go back to the all expenses and see the other expenses that are in here as well. Uh, so now let's go in and click on how to record a new expense. And again, um, just to go back for a minute, you can do it from the menu bar on the left with the plus sign, the circle, the blue circle with the plus sign at the top, or here in the expenses, you can just click on uh, add a new expense here. And then you have the option to record just a standard expense, uh, mileage, or bulk add expenses, and we'll go through each of these as well. So the date and the expense account are required, and we will choose, um, let's choose, um, IT and internet expenses. If you want to, you can itemize this. If there was um, further breakdowns you wanted to do for this, but let's leave this. Put in a dollar amount, five thousand, and then you'd select an account to pay through. I'm going to select petty cash for now. Then you can uh, choose a vendor that you're purchasing this fit through. So I'm going to call this a widget vendor. You can add a reference number and notes if you want. And then if this is going to be tied to a customer and maybe you'll bill them, you can choose a customer uh, to, I'm going to add books, books, books. I'm going to make this billable. And then if you had a deal in CRM, you can pick that deal to associate the billable hours with or a project here in Zoho Books you can as well. And then on the right side, you can attach a receipt and you have several options for attaching the receipt. You can do it from your desktop if it's on your computer. You can attach it from the cloud 
And Zoho can have links to multiple different sources to get uh, receipts or um, we have Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, and Evernote. And uh, you just have to set those up. And then you can add it from Documents as well. I'm not going to add a receipt right now. And then you would save this. And now if we go into our expenses here, you can see at the top we have the new expense that we created. And if we were to go into March expenses, we now have an additional expense here. And if I click in this, you can see to the right here, the top part, you can see that this was created. Um, this Now this expense was created. If we were to do something else with it, we, can, we would see other history. And this just shows everything that we entered in. So if I was to convert this to an invoice, you would then have the option of uh, setting this up as an invoice. And um, you can always add other expenses so you're not just invoicing for this one expense if you don't want to. You can add another line here in the invoice. You can save and send. Uh, I'll save and send for now. Just so when we go back into expenses under purchases, go to expenses. If we go now to the IT and internet expense, you can see now in the history that the uh, expense has been invoiced, so there's been an additional activity here. And then from this expense, you can uh, make it recurring, you can edit the expense, print it, or if you click the More drop-down, you can clone it if you know you want to have a similar expense. You can view the journal, which just shows um, the debits and credits at the bottom, and you can just scroll up for that. And then you can also choose to delete the expense as well if you wanted to. So if we go back to the All View, I just wanted to show you down on November 28th, there's a mileage expense with the odometer. So to create a mileage expense, you go back into New, and then you go to the Record Mileage instead of Record Expense. If you had an employee, you would put them in here. Then you have to decide, are you going to calculate uh, mileage based on distance traveled, or do you want Zoho Books to calculate that for you instead by doing odometer readings and then you just do the start and the end readings. I'm going to leave this as distant traveled, then uh, put in 100 miles, uh, and, and just to make it clear uh, while we're in here, if I had gone to settings, I could go in here and, um, and go to preferences. I'll leave this page for now. And then you can go in and pick items and you can make uh, customize them. So if I went to expenses here for fuel and mileage, I can uh, show what the default account is. And then I can also yes. here decide if it's kilometers or miles. Uh, but we don't want to do that now. So I'm actually going to go back. And then here we are in the mileage expense um, with, with the miles that we have here. Then you would do the amount uh, that would calculate from this. Let me put this back in. Uh, and we see that the rate per mile is 5.5 here and uh, point, uh, 50, about 54 and a half cents. So that calculates the amount. And if you wanted to change the rate per mile, you can always do that by clicking the change here. And then if you wanted to again um, select the account you need to pay it through. I'll do employee reimbursements here. If you needed to, you can connect this to a vendor, which I'm not going to do for now, or a customer. And again, if you were to choose a customer, that's when you can choose if it's billable or not. So I'm not going to save this one. And again, you can do the expenses if you need to, or the receipt. So uh, if we go in and create a new one, a new account again, uh, expense again, the last option you have is bulk add expenses. So let's say you've been on a business trip and you have a lot of different expenses. You can just pull this screen up and then you can enter everything all at once rather than creating each, uh, each expense individually. So if we were to go back to our expenses, as I showed you, you can always make, uh, if you look on the top right, you can make any expense a recurring expense, and you can do it right here. You can uh, 
you know, create a, a profile name for it. Uh, test recurring. You can decide how often it repeats. Maybe we want it every month, what date it starts on, what day it ends on, or if it never expires, and save that as well. I'm not going to do that now. You can also do the recurring expenses by going under expenses on the left menu bar. Recurring expenses is one of the options here. And if we had one created, you can create it from here. And what you can see here is the life cycle. So when you create a recurring expense, it's either billable or non-billable. You then would want to convert it to an invoice and then get reimbursed from it. So um, if I go back to expenses here. I think we've covered everything we need to around expenses. Just to go quickly from the expenses, we have the settings. Again, this is another way to get to the preferences. Um, for example, to have mileage um, be miles or, or uh, kilometers, for example. And you can create some custom fields as well within expenses if you wanted to add some others. Or even vehicles, you can add vehicles and have different reimbursement rates for different vehicles. So let's go back to our takeaways. And you can see here what we covered was the different types of expenses that you have in Zoho Books, being the standard expenses, the mileage, or the recurring expenses. Once you create an expense, it's very easy to send it as an invoice to a customer, and you have the option of adding additional items to that invoice. And finally, you can create custom views to filter the expenses you want to review. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and please check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or for questions you may have about Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.